Jedi Bob is making his return to LEGO after 22 long years thanks to Disney's Rebuild the Galaxy. But is this comeback worth the wait? Let's find out. I'm Joe and this is my review of LEGO set number 75388, Jedi Bob Starfighter. This set is based on the upcoming and very much non-canon Rebuild the Galaxy Disney Plus 4 part special which premieres on the 13th of September 2024. The series follows a new character named Sig Griebling who accidentally activates a powerful Jedi relic that rewrites reality, forcing him to restore things to normal and obviously on his adventures he meets old Jedi Bob. This specific set focuses on the LEGO fan favorite Jedi Bob and features his starfighter as well as an additional figure and a brick build gonk droid. Now you might be wondering who is Jedi Bob and that's fair seeing how this LEGO meme figure is probably older than a lot of you. Jedi Bob first appeared in 2002 in a set based on a scene from Star Wars Episode 2 where we see a ton of Jedi fighting on Geonosis. And that set was 7163 Republic Gunship. For some reason LEGO added only one Jedi to the set and an unnamed one at that, simply titled Jedi Knight. It was only much later in 2009 where we find a familiar face in the pages of the Star Wars Visual Dictionary who may or may not have been called Bob. From that day onward the LEGO community embraced the power of the meme and the legend of Jedi Bob was created. So before we dive into the set let's take a look at the box first. The product shot looks really good and I like the feeling of speed thanks to the blurry background but everything on the left doesn't look too great. It's a bit busy and I think it's because of that orange, yellow and teal bricks as well as the infotext overlay. As with most sets I feel like the back is way better giving us a nice shot of the ship and characters while showing off some of the play features. Inside we get a standard 100 page instruction booklet, a sticker sheet with 7 stickers, 4 plastic bags and for some reason one random large wedge plate just tossed in there. It took me about 20 minutes to build this set and it was a really nice straightforward symmetrical build. It feels like I haven't built a smaller Star Wars ship in a while so it was refreshing for me personally. And once you're done building you should end up with these extra pieces. Now onto the set. The completed build is made up of 305 pieces and measures over 7 cm high, 26 cm long and 15 cm wide and it's an 8 plus set. So let's take a look at Jedi Bob's Starfighter first which is a familiar looking ship with a very nice red and white paint job. The red and dark grey pattern on top looks great from every angle and while the ship is based on the Delta 7B Jedi Starfighter it has these two massive engine inlets at the front similar to Anakin Skywalker's custom Azure Angel Starfighter. The ship also looks pretty good from the back thanks to those three trans yellow engines as well as that black and grey fin above. While the bottom of the ship isn't much to look at we do get two more engines at the front as well as one retractable landing gear piece. The wings are attached at an angle thanks to these Technic connections which also ensures that they are firmly locked in place and along with the mandatory spring loaded shooters we also get two clips in the middle, one for the extra missile and the other one for Jedi Bob's lightsaber. The area around the cockpit looks really good too, we get two stickers to the front for extra detail as well as two more on each side of the cockpit. Usually we do get an astromech in the midsection but instead we get a little hidden compartment with a banana and blue milk. You can really tell that LEGO understands the tone of this set. The trans black cockpit canopy also sits really nicely in the build and it opens to the front to give you and Bob access to the interior. And here we get a very common printer display to the front and I like the seat's adjustable headrest. It is a bit of a tight fit for your figure but it can seat him, cape and all. And in case you're wondering the ship is very swishable and comfortable to hold without anything falling off. Now moving on to the figures starting with our brick build gonk droid called Servo. I like the blue and grey colour palette for this version and the printed tile and green stud to the front is a nice touch. Other than that though it's all pretty standard and I would have liked to have seen an actual minifigure instead of this droid. Next up we have an Akbar Trooper which is very odd. It's basically a clone trooper with a Mon Calamari head of Admiral Akbar, and we'll probably learn more about this change in the Disney Plus series. We don't get a helmet for this trooper figure for obvious reasons but the printing detail on the molded head is very good. And for an accessory he comes with a standard E11 blaster rifle. And finally we get to Jedi Bob, master of the meme. He looks nearly identical to the original version except for the fact that his torso design looks a bit more worn and dirty. He has no back printing but that's okay because it's covered up by that brown cloth cape. His brown hood looks great and as you can see his face also has some of that deliberate worn look. His one face features the same smile from the original version while his alternative face is a little bit more serious. And of course what would Jedi Bob be without his green lightsaber with silver hilt. 
This was a nice set to build and review. It has a great looking ship and some interesting characters. The only problem is, is that it comes with a hefty price tag for such a small set. I got this on discount, which is why I'm only reviewing it now, and I would suggest that you do the same if you're really keen on that Jedi Bob minifigure, which I'm sure LEGO knows a lot of collectors are. I would have liked to have seen another minifigure and maybe a little side build to justify the price, but all in all, it's not a bad set. Anyways, let me know what you think about this set, and please consider liking and subscribing to the channel if you like this review and what we do. And as always, thanks for watching.